Students, in this program, what we will do is we will get the inputs from the user and then we will subsequently find the sum and the average. So, probably, let us assume that we would want to get the sum and average of uh, four numbers and let us see how it is done. So, foremost, we start off with the all important include I O S T R E A M stream. So as I mentioned to you, without this, we wouldn't be able to receive any input and print any output. And then using namespace std followed by the parent function int main. So we would want to sum and perform the average. So for that, instead of declaring int, I'm going to say float. Float, say number one, number two. So instead of saying number one, number two, let us just take the subject, say math, physics, chemistry, ICT and history. So we are trying to get the scores for these four subjects. And C out, I'm going to say, please enter the student's mark for math, right? So this is going to be the display for the user. So now we need to receive it. So CNN is going to be math there. So what I will do, I will just copy this off and I will paste it for physics. Please enter the student's mark for physics. And this is going to be physics. And similarly, it's we need one for chemistry. And finally, we have, oh, we need a, a ICT and history. So in other words, we are actually getting these scores for five subjects. So let it be like that. Instead of uh, four, it's going to be a program for five subjects. So this is going to be history. And that's fine. So all of these uh, subject scores uh, are displayed. In fact, they are prompted and it's been collected using the C in statement. So now, what we can do is we can perform the average here, followed by, in fact, we will just perform the sum and then the average. I'm declaring everything as float. So I will say sum is equal to math plus physics plus chem plus ICT plus history. That's a sum average is equal to this entire sum. In fact, I don't have to specify the subjects there. I will just say sum divided by 5. That's it. So now we need to give the C out. I will give a line break there. And I will say the following. C out mathematics 
is equal to probably you can give a colon instead of saying equal to equal to math and then I will give a line break there because I want to first display the subjects that the students have the scores for the subject that the students have secured and then the sum and the average of course this is a little bit lengthier but that's fine so this is going to be physics Chemistry, this is ICT information technology, ICT followed by we got history. People need to learn history or, and know about the past. That's critical. So we have got that. Now what I will do, I will give a break here. I'll give a two-line uh, two break. And then I will say, see out the total score total marks we can't put some there the total marks secured by the student is some that's fine and then uh, see out the average secured by the student A. So this is going to be the average. So that looks fine. Let me take the return and close the parenthesis. We are running it. Enter the marks for math, say 90. Enter the marks for physics, 89. Enter the marks for chemistry, 65. Enter the marks for ICT, 97. Enter the marks for history, say, T7. Mathematics, 90. Physics, 89. Chemistry is displayed, ICT is 97. History is 87. The total marks secured by the student is this. The average secured by the student is 85.6. So probably what we can do is we can add a percentage there. So that would make it a, a complete output. So this is the program student. So you can clearly see that the program is neat and clean. And that completes the class for today.